Welcome to Touch Technology Review. I noticed a brand new feature that was rolled out very quietly on Instagram last week, and that is the ability to add alt text to your images. So I thought I'd spend a few moments to explain what that is and also a hands-on demonstration on how you can do it. So alt text essentially has been around since the early days of web development, and it allows you to add a description to your image online. So this has always been used for search engines such as Google to scour through a website, not only read its written content, but also understand the images that are placed in amongst that content. So it's very useful for search engines. It's also useful for accessibility for those with visual impairments, for example, that they can actually come across content that is in visual form and get a description about what that image is. So Instagram are now using it. It's going to have benefits for people searching through the Google search engine, but also in their own Instagram search, they're gonna combine it with hashtags. They'll get the AI to synthesize both hashtags and your alt text and provide more contextual, meaningful search for people looking for specific content on Instagram. So there's certainly a number of reasons to be using it. Also, this is not official in any way. I haven't found any documentation to support it, but I do believe that alt text is probably going to be used for voice in the not too distant future. So for Google, Alexa, Siri, Cortana, whatever voice search you might be using right now, I think most social media platforms, most websites will be gearing up towards providing content for voice platforms. And this could be another reason why alt text is being rolled out on Instagram in 2019. There's a couple of ways you can do this. First of all, when you're adding a brand new post, tap on the plus button on the bottom of the screen, add your image, tap on the next option, and then scroll down to the bottom of the screen where you'll see an option for advanced settings. Tap on that, you'll see an option that allows you to write your alt text. So here you can write a descriptive caption about your text, so make sure it's accurate. In this example, I've got a couple of cameras, so I'd probably choose to use the name of the brand. In this case, I've got two Olympus, an old retro camera and one of the new OMDs. So I might type in something to the effect of Olympus OM1 versus OMD photography. So that's quite a descriptive phrase to get the search engines to understand exactly what is inside that content. If you wanna go into a previous post to add alt text, tap on the icon on the right-hand corner of the screen, go into edit mode, and you'll see on the left-hand bottom corner an option to tag where you can go in and tag people or products if you have that enabled. And on the bottom right-hand corner of the image, you'll see an option to add your alt text. Similar to before, just go ahead and enter a descriptive statement that describes the image in the best possible way. Tap on done. And it's as simple as that. You've just added some alt text to one of your previous posts. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this information. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. If you've got any questions whatsoever on the content you've just seen, also you are most welcome to put those questions in the comments box below and I'll see if I can get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.